turn friends. I suppose you want to know how we're doing this. Well, funny you should ask. We're driving out to the bank, taking a look at it, picking up some equipment, and then heading back to make our plans. Not very complex at all. <laughs> we're not going in, we're not poking it with a stick. We're just sitting back and taking a look. You see, uh, I like my scores like I like my dates. Across the street and unaware they're being watched. <laughs> Alright, so why this bank over all the other banks in the state? Why does fortune favor this one? Hmm? Another good question. You're full of good questions. You're like a child whose parents think it's clever, or the IRS. Ugh. Well, this bank's got some safety deposit boxes. And in one of those safety deposit boxes are some bonds being hidden from the tax man that no one's gonna report missing. All starting to uh, make sense. Security should be light. Well, relatively. Relatively light. Light if your daydreams are raids on the Union Depository. Quite heavy if your day job is turning over liquor stores and gas stations. And the bonds in the box will be worth more than a few rumpled notes from a till, so the minor escalation is worth it if you can handle it. Plus, you know, the sea view. <laughs> Nothing like staring at the ocean while you contemplate money and power incarceration and homicide, yeah, all those weighty issues surrounding your... Excuse me! Your first foray into serious armed robbery. I'm assuming you're kind of a cerebral crew, because otherwise this whole not-talking deal just kind of puts you on the spectrum, right? <laughs> okay, well, how about we just get there and see where we're at? There it is. Take a look. Drink it in. I've patched into their security feed on myself. Take a look. Uh, what are we looking at? Uh, small joint, not much security. Staff won't give a crap, <laughs> especially about the deposit boxes. Customers will probably be thinking uh, how to turn this into a screenplay. <laughs> the boxes are in the back behind the safe door. We want box number 167. Yeah, it's right on the highway with good access. That works for you. You can get out quick, but it'll also work for the cops. Speed up their response time. Okay? Okay. Enough of this peeper crap. Let's go to the garment factory. Now, when you hit the bank, you're gonna need to hack into its security system. I've written a neat little program that'll do most of the work for you, but it's probably a good idea for you to familiarize yourselves with it. You, in the passenger seat, I've sent it to your phone. You take it for a dry run, keep your hands steady, and maybe the wet run won't be a disaster. I'm calling Paige. She's my assistant. First, she's gonna get us what we need. Then she's gonna sell me in half. <laughs> no? Didn't like that one? Uh, you don't make it easy. Paige, it's Lester. The place looked good. Nothing you weren't expecting. Can you get the intel together? Hard copies to go on a notice board. Yeah, plus all the equipment we spoke about. I'll be over to collect it with, uh, those people. Yeah. Mmm, charming as ever. Okay, see you soon. She's loading the hardware into the back of a truck. Tools for the job, things for you to wear. On a job, your attire will depend on the role you're performing. As a job gets more complicated, so will the uniforms. If you're likely to be seen by civilians, you'll... Okay! You'll be provided with a couple of masks. Then, when you go into the bank, you can choose one that, uh, goes with your eyes. <laughs> and hey, there's the added bonus of none of your favorite comic convention outfits being linked to a major crime. <laughs> whoop de doo uh, where were we? Ah, masks! Paige, oh yeah, uh, we'll go over there, pick her up, and go back to your place to plan this thing. And I can talk you through the planning board later that might be helped by a visual aid. The rest is pretty self-explanatory. Listen, there's Paige. We're leaving this car, taking the truck. Ugh, I 
should be using my cane. Hey, passenger seat. Did you get into their network? No? Well, you better do better next time. Nice to meet you. Now it's back to the apartment. Is it all there? I think so. You want to get out and check? Go down. Come on! Go down the inventory? Or are you happy sitting there making a perfect butt imprint in your easy wipe seat? I'll take your word for it. Thank you. It should all be there. The clothes, guns, headsets, hold alls, masks, the drill, the files with all the photos and surveillance work. Hey! Whoa! There's enough here to make us all look real suspicious. Nice little conspiracy to commit robbery charge waiting to happen. What, they're gonna charge us with thought crime? Not so much thought as everything but the deed crime. We'd be caught with our pants down and a hard-on out to here. Well, we're not getting caught. These are professionals. So I hear. The cheapest professionals money can buy. I like to think of it as investing in new talent. And until you and me start playing low-rent Bonnie and Clyde, that's the way it's gotta be. She didn't mean anything by that, by the way. Uh, she's just a little brusque. If they were offended, they would have said something. Real and conspicuous. Oh! Crippled or killed? I'll take bets. Okay, okay, okay. Now, Paige will set up a board for you, won't you, Paige? <laughs> I'd let you do it if you could reach. I mean, I didn't see any milk crates for you to stand on. <laughs> mm hmm. The uh, most important thing to look for in an employee is respect. You can't get anything done without respect. <laughs> Where was I? Uh, oh, yes, yes, uh, the room. Uh, Paige is setting up this board on which you will plan your scores. You'll use it to uh, set out all the prep work you need to do, uh, select your crew, figure out how the take from a score should be split up. So you need a crew to take a score. But only one person can be in charge. Respect. Hmm? Isn't that right, Paige? Lomi. <laughs> All right, it's Lomi. <clears throat> You're only gonna need uh, one thing for this, uh, for this job. It's a high-speed armored car. Now, instead of getting one legitimately and leaving a nice long paper trail to your front door, you're gonna be jacking one from a nasty Korean crew and leaving a nice long paper trail to their door instead. <laughs> this is good to go. Hey, here's your board. Good, good, good. And when you're ready to move on the car, go over it, study the plan, tick it off the list. You must be methodical. This isn't just a dumb crime. Well, there, there is an element of that, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> And when you've got the car, we'll come back here and talk bank jobs. <laughs> bank jobs, bank jobs.
jobs. Oh, what do we got here? Uh, oh, yeah, the car. Okay. You're on the way to Del Perro. A Koreatown stick-up crew has been using a parking lot as a base for scores. Uh, they're into extortion, uh, credit fraud, stolen cars, and some, uh, mini major robberies. I'd expect them to be packing, and I'd expect them to be paranoid. Come to think of it, you won't find a bulletproof car in the hands of anyone who doesn't have a healthy dose of paranoia. So be careful. your place when you're ready to go.
Shit, Dick. You hear me? Shit, Dick. 